Hello guys, this is Carlo with Accelerator Vids. Um, today I'm going to be doing uh, PC Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to install a dedicated server. Today we're going to show you how to do uh, Counter Strike Source dedicated server. The way we set this up, it does work with other games like CSGO, TF2, and uh, Deathmatch, Gary's Mod. With a bunch of games, I will show you the list uh, once we get going here. Uh, the first thing you want to do before you start anything is put a folder on your desktop or VPS, whatever you're using to run your server. Uh, name it Steam CMD because that's where you're going to be putting the downloaded content, which we're downloading in a few minutes. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open your browser, copy the URL that will be in the description, um, and just copy and paste it into your browser. It'll bring you right to where I am. Uh, once you're there, scroll down. And we're going to be under downloading and running Steam CMD. Uh, Steam has switched over from HLDS update tool to uh, Steam Pipe. Steam Pipe's more efficient, more quicker. HLDS download to update tool is no more. It's obsolete. They don't update anymore, so I wouldn't use it. Um, once you know, once you're at the page, uh, download the window or Linux, whatever you're using. I will do Windows today and do Linux probably in a later date. Uh, once you've downloaded the content, open the folder up and unzip it. Uh, drag and drop the Steam, Steam, steamd.exe into your uh, folder you made on your desktop. Once you've done that, uh, open it up, run the command, run the program. It should download all the content you need. This content doesn't have to be in your server. This content just be in this folder. It is for downloading the server content that makes your server run um, and you can update it with this tool I'll show you that in another video with a script that you guys can use to update your server so it auto updates uh, once you've done that leave the command prompt open after that uh, go back to the web browser scroll down and get the login anonymous copy that and then put it into this command prompt once you've done that it logs you into the theme so you can download the content you could sign in with your account, but I'm doing it this way because it's quicker and more efficient. Uh, after you've done that, we have successfully logged in. Go back to the browser, and then you want to scroll down and get the force installed DIR. DIR. Basically, all this is the path of where your server content is going to be installed. I've gone ahead already and uh, installed a folder in my uh, hard drive. Uh, you can put it on your desktop. All you need is the directory of where the file is going to be installed. Just copy that and uh, put your directory and then paste it in here. Once you've done that, it's it's found the path of where you're going to install the folders. After that, you want to go back to the web browser, scroll down, and you're going to see app update. Okay, now after that, you want to copy. You don't want to copy it. First, you want to scroll down and find the server you want to do. Like I said, there's a lot of servers. I mean, I want to sit here and name all the servers off, but you can see. There's Half-Life 1.6, it's Condition Zero, Deathmatch Classic. Uh, there's, they have the fee. There's, there's a lot of them, just too much. But today we're just going to be doing uh, Source. So you want to scroll down and find the Source uh, app ID, which is this right here. Uh, I mean, I've gone ahead and put it together already. Basically, find the app you want, copy and paste it together. And just uh, paste it into the thing. Paste it into the command prompt enter and after this your content will download it my internet is fast so it shouldn't take no more than probably five ten minutes for me depending on your internet connection it will go faster and I will continue in a few minutes you guys can watch this Hello.
I'm just going to talk a little bit here as this is downloading. Um, <clears throat> I will be doing videos of scooters and stuff in the summer, of fixing stuff. And um, uh, you can visit my website. You know, we have a CSS clan. We're, we're trying to expand here. Uh, we go into FTD gamers.com you can go there check it out you know leave a comment or something if you want to join our group join it um you know and the bones gonna be making a lot more videos soon we're gonna be making a cold start video sometime this week about a, a camper that's been sitting in this property for since 2004 has last ran since 2008 so when he gets when i get my battery charged i will be doing that today and be putting it up tomorrow looks like our content's almost done here Yeah, CSS content, you know, I'll show you guys how to install, if you have any questions, just leave a comment, you know, source mod, uh, source bands installment, websites, uh, PHP, uh, uh, anything that you have CSS related or TF2 or CSGO related, you need questions and answers, just drop a comment below and I'll get back to you or make a video on your post. Um, after this, I'm going to show you how to start your server up, as this is actually downloading, uh, for, you want to go to the, uh, you want to go to uh, srcds.com. The only reason why I tell you to go here is because you need the uh, command line to start up your server, which is right here. It looks like we have fully installed. Okay, once all the content is downloaded now, next thing you want to do is uh, in the description I will have the down, uh, you know, the startup command for the server. Uh, what you do is you go to menu. Let me just drag my toolbar my thing over here. You want to go to menu. Type in run in the search. Then after that, copy and paste it into the opening. Click enter. Well, first you want to close the Steam CMD over here. It will fail. It will just say something stupid. Just it'll log out. After that, do what I said over here and hit enter. And your server will pop up. Uh, I don't have any maps installed or anything, so my server won't start at the moment. But when you put a map, I mean, in the command line, you'll see you can change the map, startup map. I mean, if you want to add ports and stuff, I will leave it down in the command, down in the description on how to do that. Uh, for this tutorial, this is done. You can install source mod, uh, any plugins you want after this. The server should be up and running. You could change the slots. You can max out your slots at 64. No more than that. There is a way to do that to max out more than 64, but I don't have to do that at the moment. So, I mean, this is Carlo. I'm done.